What is a good posture? These three elements are crucial. Feet, hands and eyes. Plant your feet firmly on the ground, preferably at the same distance as your shoulders. Think of them as two trees you're planting into the ground. It's pure physics. Your two feet closely glued to one another, even worse, crossed, will not give you stability. And stability in your body means credibility in your story. It goes without saying that you're allowed to move around during your presentation. We would even recommend you to do so. Just make sure that you take big steps as opposed to small and shifty ones as they bring down the power of your story. Now what to do with your arms and your hands? These two dangling objects given to us by Mother Nature that they cause more trouble than we think during presentations because we just don't know what to do with them. Well, make them a part of your story. They help you to underline your message and emphasize the point you're trying to make. So don't hide them behind your back or in your pockets even worse. Don't lock them by wringing them permanently. Just let them hang loosely in front of your body, barely touching one another. Let them move from that position and create movements which are large and clear enough for your audience to watch. Now here's a tip that a colleague told me once. At several points in your story, you can pretend that you're holding like a basketball and make movements from that position to illustrate your point. Your hands will add dynamics to your story. Also, even if there is a podium, choose to stand in the open space and try to stay away from anything you can hide behind. Show yourself and make your posture an open one. So avoid crossed arms as they form a barrier between you and your audience. Also, you might want to avoid holding objects in your hand that might cause distraction like a ballpoint or a fold up papers or your wedding ring, why not? So there's no fondling and no fidgeting, okay? Your eyes are your connectors. They connect you to your audience. So don't look away, look down or up. Inadvertently, a listener will read these actions as signs of nervousness and insecurity, so try to smile with your eyes. A relaxed and gentle position of your mouth will encourage your audience to listen to you. A friendly face will help your message to stick. Here's a general rule. Try to avoid anything which may distract your audience's attention from your story like eye-catching outfits or hairdos, small movements, annoying tics, etc. Make your posture as open and dynamic as possible. Have a look at this video on good posture. When you're looking for the right composure in front of an audience, you must remember this circle of impact. More than half of the impact you have on an audience is caused by your body language. 38% of the impact you have is caused by your voice and the way you speak. And only 7% of the impact is due to the content of your story. It's not a lot, is it? So, nice and good body language is very important. Where do we start? We start with our feet, with our legs. We plant them like trees in the earth, which doesn't mean that you can't move around during a presentation, but it needs stability. Your story needs to be stable also, so you need physical stability. And then your shoulders. You have to straighten those shoulders and tuck up your chin. And to know where these shoulders should be, there's a very small exercise. You just lift them up very high and let them drop. And then they are where they should be. So, feet, shoulders, and then your hands and your arms. What do we do with these? Well, one thing you have to remember is that you have to keep an open communication with your public. So, this creates a barrier. We don't do this. This is much too waiting. You're actually demanding commands from the audience. So what we want to do is to make the distance between yourself and the audience smaller. So reach out with those hands and those arms. All right? Feet, hands, and of course, never to forget, a smile.
Thank you.